I really would not want to get bitten by this lizard because those canine teeth will be twice as large. Search for the angle head lizards is along this stream. Lizard! <laughs> Woohoo! Look at that! Ow! I'm Jack Randall. Oh, bum! See that? That was crazy cool. I'm finding every animal on the planet. Whoa. I'm in the wild. I think it's down here. Whoa, please. Up close and personal. And a massive snake! OK, this a scorpion on my arm. This is just remarkable. Look at that. Reticulated bifin in the water. Come on, let's go. I'm in a new location. It's always cool to find streams like this. The great thing about these streams is that it's a really good way of navigating through the rainforest. I'm going to go looking up and down these streams to see what animals might be lurking out there. On a recce like this, sometimes you can look for hours, checking every hiding place, and your luck just isn't there. Animals are so wily, I swear they're everywhere. It's like playing hide and seek. And as the hours pass and day turns to night, the hope of seeing something still is there. Wow, I can't believe that. There's a lizard sleeping right there in the tree. Just have a look. Yeah, right there. So the funny thing is, at night, the diurnal lizards are just curled up sleeping. And so he has no idea I'm here. I can get right close. This is an anglehead lizard. He's evolved to do exactly this to keep himself safe from predators in the wild. And he's gone. <sighs> that's it, that's it. I don't know, there's so many animals around here, it's crazy. But you win some and you lose the others. <sighs> the Anglehead Lizard is locally famous for the Superman jump and also for their striking colorations, which they use for communicating with each other. They even change their colors much like a chameleon might. <laughs> like I really wanted him. <laughs> Now I know that the Anglehead Lizard lives here, I've come back to find him and hopefully get to see him change his colours. Right, the search for the Anglehead Lizards is along this stream, right by these stream areas. It allows them a quick escape route if there's a predator coming along. Let's keep going. There's the Superman jump again. So, uh, an angle head lizard, but he just bolted straight into this here. So I'm going to see if I can find him. Let's go over here. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. One of the best times to find a lizard is during the day because they're really active. They live right by these streams in order to escape if a predator comes along. They jump in. Often they'll go right underwater. You'd never be able to catch it. They'll be submerged and gone before you can even get anywhere close. Look at that though. These are one of the best looking lizards in this area. And this isn't even a male. The males, which I really want to find, look even more drastic. Brighter crest. Than yeah! No, this is going to be a waiting game again. No! The other thing I was going to say about these lizards, they have quite enlarged canine teeth in order to crunch through their invertebrate prey. This is a good chance to have a look at this lizard. Yellow and blue spot. Oh! You're a little cheeky one, aren't you? That's okay though. I love it. Very famous lizard because of that amazing coloration. Really beautiful blue turquoise color belly and yellow spots and you can see almost like a dragon. The other name for these lizards is the giant forest dragon. But you can see then that dewlap. 
That's really for communication. And right now, putting it out to say, look, don't get closer to me because I'll bite you again. Now putting it away, we're really coming down. Look at those eyes as well. They've got eyelids, unlike geckos, these lizards have eyelids, so you see them blinking every now and again. Look at those long fingers as well, which allows them to grip onto the tree branches and they'll stay up in the canopy, sleeping during the night, staying away from any potential predators. There are reticulated pythons around here. A reticulated python may have a go at a lizard like this. I reckon there's more lizards around. I'm gonna let this one go and keep searching. And sure enough, there was another anglehead out there. Keep watching, you'll get to see his colours change. I think there's an anglehead up in that tree. Look at you. Much calmer than the small female. But the little female was really trying to bite me. This one just opened his mouth very gently. I really would not want to get bitten by this lizard because those canine teeth will be twice as large as that smaller female. And you see that dewlap much larger. They darken up. They do that as a defense mechanism to be able to camouflage into the trees if they feel like they're under threat from a predator. Starting to calm down. And this lizard is just starting to show his colors again. That blueness on the belly. Look at that, really beautiful colorations. You always think that maybe it's just the chameleons that change their colors, but actually there's so many different lizard species that do exactly the same, depending on, their, on what they're feeling and how they're stressed or distressed or whether they want to camouflage themselves. Anglehead lizards are extremely well adapted at changing their colorations depending on their mood, their behavior, or whether they want to camouflage themselves into their surroundings to avoid a potential threat. Obviously very relaxed now in my hands. I think it's time to let him back up in his tree. Great angle head lizard, yes. Back you go. Happy hunting. If there is a real life dragon, the angle head surely is one. I really wanted to make this video to show you these lizards up close so that you can really appreciate them and learn how they are living their lives out in the wild. They do face some threats in the wild. As you see, they need to live in undisturbed rainforest. Let's hope we can keep their home safe. And if a reticulated python comes along, he's practiced his Superman jump. <laughs>